PayPal is bringing its passkey logins to Android? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about PayPal. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. More on them at the end of the video. So PayPal is bringing its passkey logins to Android. The company is expanding the number of customers who can use the tech that's supposed to replace passwords. Let's jump right in. Android users should soon be able to log into PayPal's website using passkeys, the password-free login system that's being pushed by Apple, Google, Microsoft, the FIDO Alliance, and more. According to an announcement post, the feature is currently rolling out and will be, quote, more widely available over the coming year. That is essentially exactly that, the future of security uh, when it comes to technology. You know, just uh, uh, gone are the days when you have to utilize your pesky, long, complicated, complex passwords and it needs to be or well it's uh, sort of becoming as seamless and uh, you know fast and uh, native if you will you know super fast um, and when it comes to security and just uh, being able to uh, put in your credentials or verifying your credentials and actually logging into something PayPal says that the rollout will start on its website rather than its app uh, and that you have to be running Chrome on Android 9 or up to access pass keys if it's available for your account, you may get a prompt asking if you want to create a passkey, which you can authenticate using the biometric system or passcode uh, that you use to unlock your phone. It's kind of it's going to be one of those things where uh, they can either use your uh, facial recognition or your fingerprint or thumbprint or passcode, whatever it is that you natively use on your Android smartphone to actually gain access to the insides of your phone. And, um, you know, just not having to rely on the PayPal password whatsoever. Passkeys are based on FIDO authentication standards and are generally cross-platform compatible. Though, as PayPal shows, you may have to wait for a site or service to roll out support on every platform. Um, several password managers, including the ones built into iOS and Android, support syncing passkeys between devices, and there are ways to access them when you're using a device that they're not synced to as well. Like I said, it's basically the future when it comes to security or the technology behind security. That's the next step in technology when it comes to that. More and more services, apps, or websites, they're just gonna start natively supporting it and uh, you know it's gonna be a one and done kind of approach once you actually have registered or successfully completed your sign up process uh, in the future uh, most if not all of these apps should be able to uh, integrate with your phone natively and uh, you know should allow you to log into them or you know your account on them uh, based on uh, you know you, the same thing that you actually use to uh, log into your or unlock your phone if you will Despite several big tech companies pitching passkeys as the key, uh, no pun intended, uh, to the passwordless future, they're still relatively rare. One password has a page that keeps track of what sites and services support them, and while it does have some big names like Best Buy, Okta, Microsoft, and eBay, there are still only 38 entries on the list. Even if there are actually double the number of sites that support passkeys, you'd still be pretty hard pressed to ditch passwords for good at this point in time. Like I said, that is the future. Then again, the irony is that it's the future, it's not the present. So there's still quite a lot of ways that we gotta go or the technology has to move forward or progress before that becomes uh, the one stop cookie cutter solution, if you will, uh, implemented or integrated across the board or becomes the standard, if you will. Um, so passwords will stick around for a while, but uh, hopefully not for long. Using a passkey with PayPal won't remove the password from your account since you'll still need that to log in on unsupported devices. While PayPal rolled out passkey support for Apple devices last year, the company's documentation says the feature isn't available on Windows just yet. And that's kind of one of those things that happens with any kind of um, transition in terms of technology or how uh, the functionality of any service or software or website is set up. Uh, it takes a while, you know, the rollout is always uh, gradual in most cases. 
uh, obviously there's the alpha testing the beta testing and um you know after that they just roll it out to a a very small demographic if you will whether it's uh, selected users or you know people from a certain area or a country and then eventually it gets rolled out globally um you know wherever that service or that app is available but uh it's nice to see that paypal is um actually making this uh step a, a major thing in order to just you know promote the very same passwordless future uh, i'm surprised that it took them this long but hey as long as it's happening i'm not really gonna complain about it because let's be honest passwords are complicated they're complex they're a nuisance to remember you forget them you know creating them itself you know you gotta jump through all these different hoops uh, minimum character lens maximum character lens special characters you know you gotta throw in numbers in there and um, on top of all of that you gotta keep track of all of the passwords uh, that you end up using for all the services or apps that you end up using and so uh, in today's day and age, when it comes to the phone security itself, whether you know you're on iOS or Android, uh, it's gotten really strong. The security front of it, uh, the biometrics that you use to uh, unlock your phone, they're really good. It's not the same as uh, you know what we had back in 2005. And the reliability, the dependability factor when it comes to uh, those metrics, it's there. And so it makes sense uh, for these apps and services to simply integrate these, uh, you know, security credentials or the process of logging in along with those uh, biometrics that are native to your phone. It just makes sense. It's more secure. It's seamless. It's easy. And um, it just saves time. Less time, less headaches, more productivity. But yeah, those are just some of my thoughts on it. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. Queen Phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely. It has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.